This video covers migrating to AWS with Cloud Endure Migration, offered by AWS. Cloud Endure Migration simplifies and accelerates migrations with a process that's flexible, reliable, and automated, minimizing cutover windows, human error, and business disruption. Migrate to AWS from on-premises environments, including physical and virtual, public and private clouds, and other AWS accounts, regions, or availability zones. To get started, navigate to the Cloud Endure Migration page and register for free licenses. You'll receive an email to confirm your Cloud Endure Migration account and log into the console. You can run Cloud Endure Migrations from a single account or multiple accounts. For this example, we leveraged AWS Control Tower and created separate production and staging accounts to follow multi-account best practices. Let's look at the production account. To view the users for this account, navigate to Identity and Access Management, or IAM. For the purposes of this example, an IAM user was previously created. This user account has already been configured with the appropriate permissions that Cloud Endure needs to perform a migration. A user with these same permissions has also been created in the staging account. Now let's go to the Cloud Endure user console and create a new migration project. The staging area stores data from the source server before final cutover and migration. Provide the Cloud Endure migration user's AWS access key ID and secret access key. Specify a migration source. If you are migrating between two different AWS regions, select your source region. Since we're migrating from an on-prem source, we'll select Other Infrastructure. Specify the migration target region. You can migrate to any region on the list. Additional settings will appear, including options to configure the replication servers, which are lightweight Linux EC2 instances that facilitate data replication to AWS. These are automatically launched and discarded when no longer needed. We'll leave the default settings as is, except for where the replication servers will be launched. We'll select an existing public subnet in the staging account. Cloud Endure supports VPN and Direct Connect if using a private subnet. You can attach custom AWS tags to all resources in the staging area, including replication servers, subnets, security groups, and volumes. Let's add a tag for the staging environment. The project setup is now complete. Let's return to the AWS Credentials screen to configure additional settings. You can host your replication servers in one AWS account while launching your replicated source machines, which will become target machines after launch in a separate AWS account. This feature is only available when the migration source and the replication settings is set to Other Infrastructure. Let's enable it. Specify the AWS Access Key ID and Secret Access Key for the target account. We'll input the credentials for the AWS production account we saw earlier. Now let's install the Cloud Endure agent on the machines we are going to migrate. Here you can see how to download and run the Cloud Endure agent installer based on the machine's operating system. The Cloud Endure agent will replicate data from the source machines to the replication server. The staged data will be converted and launched as the final EC2 instances on AWS. Before connecting to the servers that will migrate, let's take a look at an application we're migrating. This simple application consists of an application server and a back-end database server. The application manages sports-related information, including players, leagues, and divisions. Now let's connect to the servers we're migrating and install the Cloud Endure agent on them. We'll connect to the application server. To download the agent, run the appropriate command for Linux that we saw on the machines page in Cloud Endure. Next, enter the command to run the installer. The agent is now installed on the application server. Now let's connect to the database server, which is running Windows Server. Run the command to install the Cloud Endure agent. Success!
Let's terminate the session and return to the Machines page in the Cloud Endure User Console. You can see that both agents have connected to the migration project, and the data replication is in progress. While the data replication process is taking place, you can review and update the blueprints for the machines, which will create the final EC2 instances for the production account. Let's edit the blueprint for the database server. First, specify the machine type. You can copy the source for the machine type or specify an exact EC2 instance type to use. We'll select a specific instance type. Next, specify the launch type. In this case, we'll keep the default, on demand. Next, specify the subnet. We'll select a private subnet that was previously created for the database server. Next, select the security group. We'll select a security group that was previously created. For the private IP, we'll choose to create a new IP address. Since the database server is not a public-facing environment, we'll choose not to use a public IP. You can specify AWS tags to associate with this environment. You can choose the type of disk. We'll choose SSD, which, in AWS terms, is EBS GP2. Save your blueprint. You would follow a similar process to update the blueprint for the application server. We'll skip ahead where both blueprints have been saved. Let's return to the Machines page. The initial data replication is now complete. Let's return to the staging environment to look at the EC2 instances. The replication server that we created is communicating with the two servers via the installed agents to maintain synchronized disk images. Let's return to the Cloud Endure user console to complete the migration. Select the server and launch the target machine. It's critical to launch machines in test mode to verify everything has migrated correctly before cutover. For this example, we'll select cutover mode. Navigate to the Job Progress page. The window displays detailed information about the cutover status. Once completed, you can review the details and close the window. Navigate to the production account. The server is now running in AWS. Select the server to show more details. Let's use the new IP address for the application server to test the migration. The application is running correctly and loading data from the database server. The migration is now complete. You've just seen how to migrate applications to the cloud with Cloud Endure Migration. Thanks for watching. Now it's your turn to try.